Good evening. Welcome to Sean the Cigar Guy. So tonight we're going to be smoking the Jaime Garcia Reserva Especial Limited Edition 2017. Yes, that is a mouthful. So this cigar, I'm trying to figure out when I had gotten this. I believe I've gotten this from my 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 buddy George. Uh, I've had this probably in my humidor for a good, I would say maybe three years at least since 2020 and just by looking at this cigar it's amazing onto all that yellow cellophane i mean the dark tint from this is incredible i mean it's seriously aged i mean without a doubt i mean you just take a little look at the cigar itself which is one of the reasons why in the intro i'm actually gonna you know i'm planning on Having this, you know, obviously the intro, and I'm going to do another take onto the picture of this cigar just by giving a nice, good, solid look onto this elephant. Because, wow. Very well aged. And this is a 2017, so not realizing if he's actually had it for almost six years. So, tonight I had a pretty good day and pretty good evening, and uh, ate a pretty good meal. And went to the gym. I had a really good workout. Came home, showered up, decided I'm going to review a really good cigar out of my humidor. This is like one that stood out for me. Usually I like to do them in series, but you know, I just figured, you know, the Jaime Garcia, my father's the limited edition. This is definitely something I uh, want to do. All right. So this cigar it is a six and a half by 52. It is a Toro. Look at that. Yeah, there you go. So I got the white wall in the background. Whoa. Yes, it is a six and a half by 52. It is a Toro size. The wrapper is a Connecticut broadleaf. The binder and filler are Nicaraguan tobacco from the my father's farm itself. All right. That is a very nice, beautiful cigar nice oily shine to it this is going to be very intriguing wow i'm just really really anticipating on having this wow the aroma very chocolatey very It's just pure cocoa, nothing else. All right, for the cigar. It's mad. It's, just, it's like, I mean, to put it in the words, for anybody who's ever been to Hershey Park and you go through the intro ride, the chocolate factory ride, and you, you can smell the, the cocoa, that's what it smells like. It just has a unbelievable cocoa aroma all right i want to do a shout out to my friends over at hellacious dean and jen i'll be leaving their information at the end of my video i'll be using their condor cutter so i'm gonna go ahead put this down at a 90 degree there we go wow okay that's a solid smooth cut right there Okay, whoa. <laughs> Even the cold draw on this, same consistency. It speaks volumes. That's all I can say, speaks volumes. Dark chocolate is what I'm getting. Just cocoa, pure cocoa, maybe some like dark chocolate out of this, but it is just unbelievable and like I said earlier I uh, I was working over at state line cigars where I work at part-time my friend Keith came by he had this uh, couple containers of this um, Brunswick stew that uh, him and his friends had made 
uh, bundles of, and it was unbelievable. It was delicious. It was amazing. Hit the spot unexpected. Calls me up around an hour before I was getting ready to close. So I just kind of stayed open. We hung out, had a cigar. I heated it up. It was awesome. I you know it. It's a nice night. I propped the door open to the place. And some of the smoke just kind of flow out. Uh, it was a pretty good, successful, busy day. And as I, you know, figure out I'm going to go to the gym right afterwards. Had a great workout. Came home, showered up. And I'm like, you know, yeah, you know the rest. So, all right. So tonight's temperature is nice night. It's in the 60s right now, about 70 degrees. Not too much humidity, so just right. Um, it was just, you know, blue skies and low humidity of a day. Um, temperatures today earlier were mostly around like the, you know, I think it was like, what, low 80s? So definitely going to be uh, looking forward to going out there and lighting this up. All right, so the draw immediately, it is something very unique. Like it's not an easy draw, but it's not a, a hard draw for this cigar. Definitely get some peppery spices right onto the lips itself, just from the tobacco, just by judging by the age of the cigar. Like I said, six years old or more. So it's a, uh, Pretty nice. Definitely get a little bit of pepper, kind of subtle, almost like a salt spice, and a little bit of black pepper right away onto the palate. Very nice, not overly peppery, but very nice. I think it's a little bit of more other peppery notes, besides the black pepper, salt spice, a little bit of white pepper. Definitely some woody notes. bit of leather onto the uh, the upper palate onto the roof of the mouth definitely has a little bit of leather to it which is really nice wow so smooth it's like a char it's like a char wood to be exact like on the back draw right there and it's only gonna I mean like a quarter maybe a half an inch through probably a quarter of an inch so one of the 
of stickers I had onto this that, like I said, I got it to my, my I had it got it from my buddy George, and the sticker said seventeen dollars for the cigar at that time. I looked the cigar up online just recently, just when I was doing my research about it, and I saw on one of the sites, which was Holtz, had it for seventeen dollars for a single. So I'm like, that just blew my mind away knowing that over time with inflation that the price of this exact cigar did not change you know which is interesting because you know a lot of cigar prices in the past few years while working in the, in the industry you saw many different brands have a drastic increase and uh, just knowingly that this didn't go up too much it's <laughs> or barely at all but who knows so that's pretty nice So if you're able to get this anywhere, or just order it through online, you know, knowingly that the price did not change. And I've had this in my humidor for a good bit of time, three years. And I got it from a buddy of mine. Same friend who actually sold me my humidor. One of my humidors, the treasure chest. So stay tuned. We'll see what we get next. All right. So here we are at the midpoint of the cigar. Definitely has a lot of, I would definitely say, some peppery notes really picks up a lot more. Then kind of smooths off a little bit. So for a little bit, about almost five, ten minutes ago, it was more of like red peppery notes. Then it kind of just smoothed down and definitely stuck with more of like that chart that charred oak wood flavor onto it on the back draw it definitely gets a little bit more of like uh, kind of reminds me of like a roasted like roasted nut notes to it almost like uh, like almond like roasted almonds to it which is really nice so definitely has some good flavor complexity so far onto the cigar but still has that leathery note I'm still getting onto the roof of my mouth which is on the upper palate so definitely a really good smoke So cigar review time. So overall, definitely has gotten back to more of the peppery notes, getting towards the end. Definitely has a lot of that charred wood oak taste to it. Definitely holds on to the, uh, the nutty notes like that toasted almond on the back note. Definitely a very nice, smooth cigar. Especially it's been aged, I would say six years easily onto this, I mean, given the fact that, you know, 2017 it was released, so, amazing cigar, hard to put down, so, give it a scale of 0 to 10, I'm going to go with a, a 9.5 on this, this is an outstanding smoke, really great cigar, alright, so if you had the cigar before, definitely let me know, I'm quite curious what your experience is like, and especially, you know, it's been out for six years, so if you've had it in that time period, from what you remember of it, uh, definitely I'm curious. All right, so it's a review. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit like, subscribe, and please feel free to comment, and have a wonderful night.